You know, to be fair, Her Royal Majesty Queen Saffron Golden Apple is beginning to think she's getting a little old for this. Uh, meaning that she's getting a little bit old for, you know, changing diapers. Uh, not that I think the queen actually has to do that. With brand new baby Kismet Golden Apple here, who's yet another, like, mean prince. Oh, it's too bad you can't do something. It'd be really fun if you had some way of maybe, like, sending your kid to the, the church or, or, like, to the farm or something, and they could change some of their traits. Like, even if that was, like, sending them to hang out at the Thieves' Guild, and maybe they wouldn't get a lot of skill, but you could change their traits, that would be so cool. I really wish that could happen. Alas, alas, it seems that little Kismet has been born with a bit of a mean streak, just like his older sister, Lark. But thankfully, we do have a Princess Zarion, who shall indeed be the brave and romantic queen of the future. Hopefully. You know, she's 17, only got 41% leadership. But you know what? At least that's more than her mom and we're on our way up, which is great for Saffron because she's uh, getting a little bit older now, guys. Look at her. Look at her. Queen Saffron! I, I can't believe you outlived Zero. Oh my gosh, you guys were like the perfect couple too. <sighs> well, you know, yeah, the queen feels she's getting a little old for this. Not just for raising brand new babies, uh, but also for naming all of the bazillions of babies that have been added into the village since she last looked. I think that Her Royal Majesty is beginning to wonder about all of that funding of the stork population that she did over the past few years. However, all right, I know I have not named Thomas. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this really, really fast. <laughs> Oh, Penelope Overance, thank you so much for being one of the patrons that make all of these adventures possible, and congratulations on being reborn to the Glowly family. To be fair, like, your mother is a 60-year-old healer, and your father is a, you know, 30-year-old priest. You know? Life happens sometimes, doesn't it, Rance? I hope you grow up well. <laughs> But welcome back, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to name all of the babies as quickly as possible because that is indeed one of Her Majesty's royal jobs. And then we're going to focus on the fact that we have six sticks. Six. Yeah, just six. Maybe we'll go ahead and let time pass whilst we... You know... <laughs> If it's not one thing, it's another, and I do have to admit that it's always wonderful because this is the third time in her lifetime that the kingdom has just erupted in cheers and celebration. Perhaps this time around, celebrating Queen Saffron, and you know, she just had a new prince. Woo! Little do they know that he's mean. Well, we'll try to keep him, I don't know, locked up in a tower like Rapunzel for a while. <laughs> But once again, the peasants are delighted to be treated so well in Lakeburg. With some rest, lower taxes, and decent housing, their productivity improves in all areas. Some say they even have more time for socializing. Yay! They're overjoyed and more love pours into the kingdom. How wonderful! It's even inspiring the future heart of this little baby who is romantic. And this is going to be, let's see... Lada from Kaladis Lab. Kaladis Lab, welcome, welcome. It seems that you now apparently, oh my gosh, how did we just end up? Okay, Silkfish just welcomed a new baby. <laughs> hey, Deneve, please. Glad to hear that you have welcomed a new child who is beautiful and brave. Boy, the queen really might need to hire an official namer to just kind of go through. Uh, but little Char Silkfish, that's hilarious. From Charcoal charcoal fox. That's hilarious. You are a brave, beautiful baby who's named after a fish, and your last name's Silkfish, and also you're skeptical about the taxes, yet entertained by our bards. I'm really impressed by that, like, series of events. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna go down the list as quickly as we can. Let's see. And then there was Rance. Is everybody else named? Yeah, there's Lada. Oh, hey! Okay, I need to spend the wood on not things for babies. But I think the queen's nervous we won't have time, so all right, we're gonna go ahead and leave that behind. All right, go, go, go! New baby! Who's this? The rat healer? Wonderful! <laughs> 
Rassel from Trassel. So you are now romantic and nimble. Itty bitty baby who also enjoys the songs being sung around town. Born to Vale Rattler and Mirabelle Miller. Oh, congratulations. Uh, let's see. And then we've got Cobalt, who is waiting for somebody to marry because his his spouse just died. There's nature. Have we covered? Okay, we did not have. We do not have a patron named Olaf. So, this, oh, what are the bells? They're almost as populous as the berry like lineage. And this is going to be Teller after. <gasps> just checked on Ariel. She had like a fifth of her life left, believe it or not, at 85. Maybe it's because she was the high priestess, but she was the high priestess of the Temple of the Rat. And somebody from the Assassin's Guild. I... That's gonna really hurt Faith. <gasps> Ginger from the... Oh my gosh. Ginger Coral Skies also just died by Assassin. I think Ginger was sent to assassinate the High Priestess, Ariel Silkfish. And while she was doing that, Ariel's holy rats ended up attacking Ginger, giving her perhaps the plague and killing her Despite the fact she's a new mother. So now, good luck, Renee. I'm so sorry about this, but you're going to be raising a dragon and your new baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna go ahead and give a new name to you now. <laughs> Miss Fortune. Look, Miss Fortune, you're gonna be like teller for whoever the next person was gonna be. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, look at you, you're humble. You wanna grow up to become like a treasurer or a priest. Maybe it's a good thing that your assassin mother died while you were extremely young so that you can grow up under better influence. But the high priestess was just killed by one of our assassins. Who hired you? Who did you have any relationships with that could have possibly hated Ariel? I wish I knew if Ariel had enemies and we could figure out if like, oh, maybe that person did it, you know, for the sake of immersive roleplay. A little bit of elbow grease of imagination carries you a long way. Um, oh my gosh, and Cass Grimnail the guard just died. She was one of our best guards and super old, and she must have been going to try to protect the High Priestess. Cass, Ariel. Like, wow. Um, uh, now everybody's worried and gloomy. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Well, I think the queen's gonna have to just do a really fast, um, all right, let's see. Uh, a really fast flyby of all the babies now because we've got villagers literally lined up homeless. We just lost the high priestess. There's a little bit of chaos going on. People are feeling worried and scared. I think they probably care more about finding a new high priestess and a new guard and maybe even a new undercover assassin that we can pay to protect us than they care about love. So we'll use that to our advantage in just a moment. And um, we're going to go ahead and name this little one. How about uh, Romy? Let's see. Romy Day. Oh, that's actually a really cool name. There we go. And that's after Macaroni Day. Ha! <laughs> Macaroni. I love it. <laughs> All right. There we go. So you're going to be there. Um, and yeah, the queen. Okay. Anybody? 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 There's a lot of like empty houses or couples needed. Uh, okay. Uh, cookie. Ellen. Ellen, that does not sound like a name of a patron. <sighs> okay, I, 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 hey, and then let's see, Sep Dames, uh, let's go with Sep, just Sep, there you go. And we'll keep moving on, Violet, Miss Fortune, hey, Miss Fortune, sorry about the whole, you know, your mom's no longer with us thing. I'll expand your house, does that help? Also, it looks like the Thunderheart family with Little and Rain are going to be welcoming a new baby in a few months. Great, more babies to name. Tim, I think I named you. Um, and I think 
We're in the clear. There's moss. Maybe? Oh my gosh, we have so- Empty house! Empty house! <laughs> this is not a drill! I could actually move somebody in. Who's the eldest? I guess it would be sister- Okay, sister baker, you can have the empty house. <laughs> and then we've got little Char, fresh born. Uh, okay, I think we finally made it through everybody. And now we shall go ahead and we shall address the fact that everyone is exceptionally gloomy because, you know, the old folks have died. They're terrified because the priestess, the high priestess has now died. Um, Ziva is already a priestess. Laura Bell's already a priestess. Bowden is a rat trainer who we need to keep people alive. Uh, Tansy is also a rat trainer. Faye is a treasurer and not really the best at handling the priesty needs of the world. Is there somebody to recruit who would be an assassin? Aha! Uh -huh. Are you a fairly... Uh, it's not the best assassin I've seen. We could probably wait for somebody and he's ill-mannered and cowardly. I don't need a cowardly assassin. I need somebody who's really gonna like hold to it. This person, however, would be an okay treasurer. I don't think I want to recruit someone right now, actually. Because I have so many people I already have to like build houses for and name. Okay, let's see. Let's see how far we can stretch the wood we've gotten. Stick Natan. Natan, you got a house. Congratulations. We still have like a bazillion unhoused villagers. Uh, and let's see if we can actually pull off making a few couples within the village. Uh, or actually, I take that back. Um, because we're actually looking for somebody who can tell really great jokes or entertain us as... Is that theater? Yeah, as an actor. <gasps> we need an actor! Like, terribly, importantly, we need an actor because everyone's extremely gloomy over the death of the High Priestess. And then, uh, oh, Lamassi's Kitchen Nightmares. Rumor has it that Wins de Lamassi, the famous gastronomic, gastronomic critic and lover of good food, known for going incognito in elaborate disguises, is currently in Lakeburg. It is imperative to give him a royal welcome, and Tatian is willing to do everything to satisfy his taste buds. So we could take it all out. We could add a lot of morale to the villagers in exchange for... Basically, it looks like hosting a feast in the entire village to make sure that every single tavern, every single uh, restaurant, every single bakery we have has like the best food right now. And 30 morale to all of the villagers. Or we can try to uncover the, um, the gastronomic food critic. I think the queen is just going to rub her forehead and do the thing that seems to be most simple. So, when in doubt, take it all out and offer the best for everyone. If Lamassi is in town, let's not risk disappointing him. All of Lakeburg's food providers make a tremendous effort, which also pleases everyone in town. Yay, yummy! Glad you guys are happy. <laughs> now, Arabella. So about that... Oh! <gasps> Priestess! Yes, Arabella, good job. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Um, a greedy priestess we may have coming, but that's okay. Let's see. Music, feasting, fishing. Music, feasting, fishing. Not treats. Not so... <laughs> she's greedy, but she doesn't like money. Maybe she's greedy for good food. I can get behind that, maybe. Uh, all right. Let's try a good date. Does not like... Um... Oh, dang it. Uh... Okay, kittens. Uh, music. Oh, okay. We at least managed to pull that off. <laughs> Arabella, congratulations! Thank you for getting us a new priestess. Thank freaking goodness. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and name you... Kitty just died of the plague. Oh! Now there's something else to worry about. Why, thank you. Kitty Bell has died of the bubonic plague. It's difficult to know how contagious his ailment was, but one thing is clear. A better public health policy is needed before the situation becomes disastrous. Okay. Okay. Kitty, I'm so sorry. Your, 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 um, your wife, Touch Cats, uh, survives you, as well as Solaria, Annie, and Therion Bell, your children. So, rest in peace. I gotta deal with the plague. Also, er, the silver pebble. 
family now has a new priestess that has come to join us. She's not really a high priestess, but she's kind of like, like a mid-management priestess. Yeah, I'll take what I can get, you know what I mean? Uh, and this is actually going to be um, Ultimate Cream Rainbow Dash. Let's see. How about we go with Rainbow? I just... I, Rainbow Silver Pebble. That actually sounds really beautiful. I wish thee well. Please provide much faith. Yes! People are feeling grateful in the village again. <laughs> um, how did we get the plague? If people are confident in their health. I, I'm a little concerned about that. You know, how did we end up with the plague if people are feeling good? Cobalt, could you please find us like an actor? Like, please. You actually have fairly decent connection with this person, but no, we need like an actor, please. All right, uh, treasure, bad affinity. An actress, an actress! We found an actress! Cobalt, golden apple, look, your brother and you kind of snuck into the kingdom and wiggled their way into the broken queen's heart. So let's go ahead and just try a date anyway. The art of war cuddles treats. The art of war cuddles treats. The art of war cuddles treats. Uh, okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Um, we want to really enjoy treats. And then they don't like flowers. Yes! <laughs> It's just better if I rush and speed date. And now we have a new actress has come to join us. Oh dear, and I think our only Mason is dead. I'm gonna need to take care of that. Also, Catalina is funny, devout, and a bit rowdy. And hey, I mean, she just married into sideways royalty, technically. So like the cousin of the cousin sort of thing. Um, well, actually, I guess she would be the sister-in-law of the king. That's not bad. That's not bad, cat. AKA Mad Cat. Ah, <sighs> just as I felt like I was making progress, of course. The artist. Rin is the most famous artisan in the country. His peers greatly admire and respect him. Therefore, Lakeburg's nobles ask him to paint the whole court. Really? Congrats, Rin! Wow! I, like, you doing good over there? Yeah, you're married to Butternut Berry? Oh, Butternut, I remember when we gave you your name. Like, you got a, a little kid named Mossberry? Come on, like, your kid has, like, the best name. Um, the painter finishes his work and showed it to the court. Let's say the result was disturbing. Where were the curves, the volumes, the grandeur? And what was that about the squirrel in the middle of the scene? Should the artist be called a genius or hanged high? What? I am not going to hang our artist. We're going to go ahead and the nobles can just deal with it. If there's a squirrel in the middle of the painting, I like it. Ren's fame is now greater than before. People fight over his paintings and some say Lakeburg is now home to the greatest of artisans. The nobles feel they are the only ones not understanding the artistic genius and that offends them very much. So be it, says the queen, who just is happy that we have, like, you know, some nice, some nice art on the walls. Also, I need more masons. Hello, Annie. What would you be good at, my dear? You'd be an amazing miner. Oh, jeez. Evergreen! Evergreen Crystal! He was our seamster and possibly was just about to become one of our pranksters to bring a little joy into this village. Oh my gosh, Evergreen. I'm, I'm beginning to think... Do you guys think assassins come out more often if villagers happen to have like an enemy? Because you know how people can go ahead and have relationships and sometimes it's really, really, really awful. And you know how sometimes they can, uh, they can have like, where is a public enemy? Like touch cats right here. Relationship, enemy. So, is it possible if you have a 5 out of 5 level arch nemesis enemy, you're more likely to get assassinated? If that's the case... Uh, the queen's a... The, you know? <laughs> I think the queen just got a migraine. Because some of the villagers, like, she really would be like, I honestly cannot with any petty squabbles right now. Cannot. <laughs> oh no. Oh, do I have anything to trade to this llama? 
not not really, Bianca. Here, please come back later. Okay. Well, can I build some of? Chaotic Hiller just died from choking on some of the delicious food from the feast that we just held. Yes, I do believe Her Royal Majesty needs a lie down. That. Remember the whole trying to prevent the plague thing? Remember the whole, you know, that? We still have so many villagers who don't have homes to live in. And now, ah, and now, boy. <sighs> I wonder if you two, like, I can't believe there's actually a guy who's a decent prankster who just showed up. Fine. Welcome. Everything else feels a little bit like a joke right now, sir. So you, who like treats meditation and feasting, but don't like painting, I ironic, you really moved to the wrong village for that. Um, you're a coward who's kind and romantic though, and you want to be a good prankster. You know what? Welcome. If we need anything in this situation, it's probably Zero gravity! Welcome back! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Zero, you have been reborn. So, um, Zero jokes, or Zero jokes, or how about Zero a laughs? We're gonna go ahead and do that because it also sounds funny. Uh, Zero laugh, uh, laugh, laugh, laugh. Heart? Laugh? Because he is kind and romantic. Um, glee? Giggle? I, I'm sorry, zero laughs is just too funny. <laughs> Ironically! <laughs> Welcome to the village. Please take a position in our uh, prank shop with all of the old folks who I probably should be worried I'm about to lose of old age. And by the way, zero! Which, I actually, treats meditation and feasting, but not painting, the art of war, or dancing. She likes dancing, she likes treats, she doesn't like the art of war. She also dislikes feasting. <sighs> I was thinking about it. I was thinking about actually breaking Queen Saffron up with uh, the king, the current King Fox, because Zero has been reborn. But I think, I think we will allow you two to pass as ships in the night this time, uh, because you never wanted to be king anyway. So even if some sort of like fortune teller sitting in the queen's like garden with her and giving her a whole bunch of like lavender tea and, and other things for her nerves, even if someone told you that Zero had been reborn, I feel that Queen Saffron, knowing that he never wanted to be king, would would leave him be. Also, Latte, I wish I could marry you off to somebody, but like even it, it's perfect match or no one for you. All right, let's see. Anybody here? We've got a couple excellents. Okay, we've, so let's see an excellent more in your age range, my friend. And Shell, who's a guard assassin or blacksmith. So he's a guard right now. He's also cowardly, he's indecisive and obstinate. Um, and then we've also got Annie, who just got a house. That's a plus in a relationship, probably not living under a bridge. <laughs> uh, but you only just like things together. And then, uh, oh, healer, painter, bard. You know what, somebody who is also into some of the creative stuff is probably good. Also romantic, humble, and rowdy. And Darian! I, Andrian! Oh, now I remember naming you! Okay, I was just making sure. <laughs> also, I'm sorry about the early the early baldness. <laughs> oh, let's see if we could go ahead and make this work. Fashion, meditation, or dueling. All right. Okay, and, um, okay. Oh my gosh, I did it. Speed dating. Zero laughs. Welcome to the Ironborn family. I think you two are homeless. Well, sorry about that. You know the whole thing I was just saying about having a house? Pretty good. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, take that. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like we have quite a bit going on in all directions. Uh, we also have a whole bunch of... Evergreen's dead. Okay. Um, we have a whole bunch of resources we need to tend to. Like the fact that we're starting to get a little hungry. We've got a bunch of our younger villagers who are ready to go ahead and take up gainful employment. Did someone just have a baby on, on me? Because... The, look, the queen, she's beginning to think, would you hold still for a second, gossip of the village? <sighs> there. <laughs> Which house is this? Oh, Catherine Twig, congratulations on the first child. Um, and and now, oh my gosh, we're, we're gonna run away after we go ahead. It's just sister again. Sister? Did, did, did you just get were born in your own family line as sister junior baker maybe sister baker like the second i suppose did that just happen sister baker's still alive it was our seamster who died Congratulations, Sister Baker. You just got reborn as your own granddaughter. Remember what I said about the queen kind of needing a bit of a lie down thing? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, and the, the crown princess is actually ready to go ahead. Um, and we could employ her as a priestess, but I, I, I guess we gotta just, we gotta roll with this. This is amazing. Chaotically, absolutely amazing. The Grim Nails just had a baby on us too. I, I, you know? And who adopted a child last time? Like, that was really sweet of them. Um, I think it was the Grim Nails, actually, who adopted an orphan, which was quite kind. And this is going to be Art Grim Nail after Art Cryptid. Art, I'm pretty sure you're being reborn now too. This is amazing. All right. Everyone has the plague. Gotta fix this. <laughs> Theodora, help us, help us. Take up your, your job, please. Oh, we'll see if we can move in more people to assist us with keeping the village safe and hopefully functional long enough for us to be able to, to wiggle our way out of here. Uh, oh, another baby born. Great, that's exactly what we don't have enough of right now. Hold still for just a second. Okay, what does it count as babies being born? Uh, okay, does that count as... Oh, thank goodness. Hi, and important information. Thank goodness, I finally figured out how to see that. Uh, now I mean it this time when I say we're going to give little- Hey, Galactic! How about, um, Gally? 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 Uh, huh. Uh, let's see. Gale? We're gonna go with Gale, Galactic. Well, Galactic sounds so cool. I'm not going to settle for that. We're gonna go further. Think, think, think. Um, space names. Galaxies, stars, comets, Jupiter, planets. Dang it! <laughs> Mercury! <laughs> That's all I've got. Mercury Copper Rat, welcome. You're 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 born to the Copper Rat family. Congratulations. I'm 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 gonna go hide in the garden with the queen now. Chaos. Wonderful. Amazing. Chaos. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye -bye.